Today we'll be talking about a very interesting video and a, a very interesting topic because um, a couple of you guys already bought properties in different estates and in different locations. Either is Abuja, is Lagos, is Asaba, it's Portacourt, is Ibado, and um, the estate has a global CFO. And a couple of you guys also have a property in your name, and then you have your CFO on it already. So, um, a contact reached out to me recently and was talking about what's the advantage, was is there any advantage in buying a global CFO property? And I feel like, okay, let's talk about the difference between a global CFO and an individual CFO. So, um, in case you are coming across a video like this for the first time, this meet the property guy property channel, and this is your go to channel for everything real estate everything property matters here in nigeria in lagos in abuja if there's any trending events any trending property any trending projects any trending opportunity you want to come to this channel to learn about it you want to come to this channel to really get the full full gist about it so we talk about land documents here land titles um pros and cons um different locations either is it is it Bejuleki, is lagos is it Badon, is it abuja we talk about return on investment, talk about property risk, we talk about property scams. Uh, most importantly, we also talk about real estate companies and real estate developers and everything you need to look out for when you are dealing with real estate companies. So that's why I said this is your go-to channel. So after watching this particular educative guide, if this is your first video, I also suggest you go to some of our playlists. We have playlists on land documents, so many videos, so many interesting videos on land documents. We have a playlist on short lets, so many interesting videos on that too. We have interview sessions that we have done uh, with surveyors, with lawyer, with uh, mortgage guys. We have trivia session. We have Q and A session. So we have so many, so many videos we have done. So many playlists that we're going to get you hooked on our channel for probably the next couple of hours. So let's go straight into the topic now and see the difference between um, when you buy a property that has a global CFO or you have a property with an individual CFO. All right, so before we start um, dissecting the difference between these two, if you have been watching our videos once again, um, don't mind our nagging. This is also reminding you and appealing to you to subscribe to our videos. We have a big target this year. We really, really want you to subscribe. We really want you to engage on these videos because that's one of the ways where our videos and our content can also reach a larger audience. Uh, and most of the things that we share here is something that a lot of people should know, a lot of people must know. So as you have access to this information, it's also very important that other people also have access to these information. So, so we really, really want you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed already, because a couple of you guys um, complained, ah, Rabi, I've not seen your video for a while. I, what's, what's wrong? We always shun out content. It's because you have not turned on the notification button. So kindly do, kindly turn on the notification button so that as we are dropping this content, you get notified immediately. All right, so let's go um, talking about global CFO and individual CFO. Now, first thing first, CFO is CFO, certificate of occupancy. It's There is really not much difference between either is global or is individual. We Utahs um, usually um, use global CFO when we are selling an estate. Uh, the estate is so-so place, two minutes to this, three minutes to this, and it has a global CFO. All right. Now, but either is CFO is global, a CFO is individual, is the same. The process of application is the same. The certificate of occupancy is the same. The document is the same. All right, so the difference or the major difference is just that when we say global, it means that this land, um, this document rather, covers a large expanse of land. It can be 100 acres, 50 acres, 20 acres, 10 acres, and you are not buying all. We are not buying all of them. So there's an estate, the CFO there covers 20 acres and you just want to buy six plots or three plots or two plots or one plot. So it's global. Because other people also buy or own properties covered by that CFO that is not yours. So as you are bought one plot inside that CFO, another person bought two plots. As you bought six plots inside that CFO, another person bought eight plots or 12 plots. That's why we are using the word global. So individual CFO is just a CFO on a particular property and is on an individual's name. It may not even really be an individual's name as a person. 
can also be an individual as an entity so which means that the land can be maybe one plot or two plots and they want to sell everything and the cfo is on the company's name is still individual cfo because the land or the entire um um land that this cfo covers is also what you are buying right now so the, the first difference here is um the name So if you buy a property in an estate and the estate has a global CFO, the name on the title document is not yours because that land already has CFO before you bought it. So the CFO can be in the company's name. Maybe you bought from Arcview, you bought from Landmark, you bought from Garcia's. Yeah, the CFO is in their name. Now, but if it's individual CFO, you bought the land and then possess the CFO yourself, the name on the title is yours. So either you you bought the property in your name or you bought it in your company's name, is your name that will be on the CFO itself. So you, you go to a pair, buy two plots, buy three plots, you do your CFO on it, you have your CFO right from Alausa signed by the governor in your name. If it's Abuja too, you have your CFO in your name. If it's Ibadan, you have your CFO in your name. If it's Asaba, it's Enugu, it's anywhere is in your name. But is an existing global CFO property, what you are just going to be given is a deed of assignment and a survey plan. Although the CFO details will be inside the deed of assignment, but despite that, the name on the CFO is not your name. Alright, so the second difference is when you buy a property in a global CFO, like I mentioned earlier, is that your name is not on the title documents. Because the land already has a CFO before you bought, and the CFO has the CFO covers your land, but also cover other land too. So the name is either the company's name that you bought from, or the family name, or the community name that you bought from. So because of that, when you buy, is a deed of assignment and, and register survey that you are going to have. It's just that the CFO details will be in the deed of assignment. So because it's a deed of assignment that you have, you are required to register that title which is to apply for or call a governor's consent which is the process where you now go to the land bureau in that state either is alausa is abekuta is ibadan is abuja or anywhere that okay this land that you guys issued a cfo for 20 acres or 20 or 10 acres or 100 acres i bought two plot there please can you register it in your database that two plots out of these 200 acres have been transferred to me so that's when you now go for a, a governor's consent so you register that pushes you register that transfer because when the company or the individual or whoever gives you the deed of assignment and registered survey the governments are still not aware the only thing that is still in the government record is the name in this global cfo so the part where you now register the title is where they now recognize you that oh uh, two plots out of this CFO is gone. Ten plots out of this CFO is gone. Six plots out of this CFO is gone. And they now give you a governor's consent on it. Now, if it's, a, if it's an individual CFO, the title is already registered. Because for you to abort that property and go and apply for a CFO, you have already, that, already registered the title with the government in your name. So, the CFO is in your name. You don't have to do any governor's consent again until when you sell. Is where you sell to someone else, the person also now have to go and do a governor's consent. But if you have gotten an, a CFO on that land in your name already, the title on that land is registered. Now, you may now look at it as what's the implication of the title is registered, the title is not registered. Because if you collect your deed of assignment and survey, the title is not registered yet. But if you apply for the CFO in your own name, the title is already registered. Now, this, the implication of that is that when you want to sell, when you want to sell,
to where you want to sell in this instance of a global CFO, you need the consent of the previous owner. Actually, you need the consent of the uh, entity whose name is in the global CFO. And that's why it's easy for a lot of companies to put it in their um, contracts or to put it in their um, deed of assignment that if you want to sell the property, you, you, they should be aware or they need to know about it because they have to transfer the title to someone else, blah, blah, blah. It's because you have not registered the title of that land. So because you have not registered the title of that land, the name on the CFO is not your name. The name on the governor's consent is not your name. So if you are selling that property to someone else, you need to go back to the person who is recognized and registered in Alausa or wherever that property is for the person to sign that deed of assignment to the new person that you are selling it to. Usually, the, this person is going to charge you for that. He's not going to sign it for free. So, but if you have this property and um, you have done your individual CFO, you have done your own CFO in your own name, you don't need anybody's consent when you want to sell it. You sell your property, you sign your deed of assignment, it's perfect. The person that bought that property from you can now take that deed of assignment to the land bureau and apply for governor's consent with it. Because the CFO on it, the name of the CFO and the name of the person in the deed of assignment are the same person. But in this one, the name of the CFO and your own name are not the same. So if the person take your deed of assignment to allow sir, they will not recognize you. They will tell you, ah, who is this person? You don't know this person, no. The name that will continue to be showing on that document or on that property is the name on this global CFO, basically. Now, ideally, for a lot of companies that are selling properties with CFO, some of them, the CFO is in their name. Some of them, the CFO is there before they even bought, which means that they are supposed to do a governor's consent even before they transfer the deed of assignment to you because if the company if the company's name is not the name of the CFO and they do a deed of assignment to you if you want to apply for a governor's consent you have to go back to the company and the company have to go back to the people that their name is in the CFO to sign it another deed of assignment to now give you before you now go for to apply for the governor's consent so these are all these process these, these are really the pros and cons attached to it individual CFO your name is on the title Anybody goes to search that land in the, in the land bureau, they see your name there, clear. Global CFO, your name is not on the title. Anybody go and search that land, it's not your name that are going to see you there. So, in case you want to sell the property in the full show, you bought in an estate, and then the person that you want to sell to want to run a shake, just tell the person, okay, where do you want to go and do a shake? Ah, I want, want to go to Alausa, oh, I want to go to Ibadan, blah, blah, blah. Okay, when you check this property, so so name is what you are going to see there. And look at this deed of assignment. The name that you see in that CFO are the people that signed this deed of assignment to me. So go and do your check. So that the person will not come back and tell you that, ah, it's not your name you see there, and you're now panicking. That, hey, they have scammed you, they not scam you. It's just that the property is a global CFO, and your name is not the registered title on that name. So the only thing that I'm going to give you is a deed of assignment and registered survey here. In this instance, this one, you have a CFO in your name already. So... Um, after collecting the deed of assignment and um, survey, you have to register the title to, to a governor's consent so that when they now go to the land bureau and check, is your name they will see there. Here, don't need to do any registration again because you've already done the title registration and the CFO is already in your name. Now, um, this last instance, if you want to sell, you need consent of the previous owner or you need consent of whoever the, the person's name that is in the global CFO. And that's why some families in Lagos, till today, they still make money. Um, should I mention their names? No need. So there are some places in Lagos that if you buy a property there today, you have to go to their lawyer's office, pay them for them to sign a deed of assignment for you. That's because the family themselves have done a CFO in their name. So, and as long as whoever, whoever bought from them, do not do a governor's consent as long as the person sell, they will still come back to them and they will still collect money to sign the deed of assignment because they don't sign that deed of assignment, you can't do governor's consent with it. So, um, you need consent of the previous owner, whoever's name is in the TFO, 
when you sell that property because that person has to sign that deed. So, but if it's your CFO in your name, you don't need to sign, you don't need to go to any other person again for, for any consent. You sell that property, you sell the property because you have already perfected the title, the CFO is in your name, and when you sign that deed for that person, the person can go to the land bureau, submit it, and get the governor's consent instanto. So these are really the difference between these two. So if you want to buy a property and they are telling you is global CO4, you should know what is attached to it. Oh, this land does not have CO4. Is you that will do your CO4 yourself. So you should also know what is attached to when you do your CO4 yourself too. So uh, we did a video with um, Sorry Obola this some weeks ago uh, where we talk about how to get a CO4, individual CO4 in Ekbe. So we are likely going to have Sorry Obola Day again to talk about how to get a CFO in maybe Bejuleki and also other parts of Lagos too. Um, not you like the process is different, but there are some um, differences in Ekben land status and the Bejuleki land status. All right, so if you have questions for us based on this, based on what you have explained here, uh, we are open to listening to you. And once again, this is another very, very important announcement. We are going to be sharing our portfolio page on our videos now. Um, so that a lot of you are viewers, a lot of you are subscribers, know the available opportunities for cash flow, for capital appreciation, for land banking, you know, for capital preservation, different things, different investment opportunities that you can do. So we have set up um, our IG page to um, be our portfolio page. You can, you can always drop, drop by there and see what is currently available and you can definitely just send us a dm or just reach out to us immediately that oh i saw this on your ig page i saw this in your portfolio can you tell me about this can i can i benefit from this this is what i have in my portfolio with this if i add this to my portfolio does it really make any sense so we, we are also going to be sharing um that in our videos now so that you can see that oh, okay yeah we have this um ongoing we have this running and this is what we really do because a lot of you guys feel like oh rabbi i don't know what you have rabbi we don't know what you do and all those so we have our ig page now and we are going to be putting it in our videos all right so if you are not subscribed yet to our videos kindly do if you are subscribed we want you to turn on the direction button if you enjoy this content you enjoy the efforts the research and the work we put behind this content also don't forget give us a thumb like give us a thumb like we are going to appreciate it we want you to engage in our content share on your page share on your whatsapp share in your communities share in your groups you know so that people can also um benefit from the different um guides the different tips the different advice that we share here because people really need to know all these things all right so i see when you're the one property of the planet your property advisor your party consultant rabbi mustafa thanks again for watching our videos and see you next time